couple of moments of your time just to explain why the bid is important and how you would actually recommend to those reviewing the bid to see the Bishop Auckland bid favourably? There are two reasons. One's negative, one's positive. The negative reason is uh, the decline in the town centre, the weakness of the local economy in a town that is the centre of its local communities and is a natural drawing point, but where the centre of the centre, the centre of the town, has become very run down but is a small area that is open to significant change. The positive um, reason is that there are major changes happening at both ends of the main street which are going to mean that any resources put in, any effort made, is going to be leveraged up m incredibly effectively. First of all, Auckland Castle has a major, massive regeneration project with millions of pounds going in, which is going to draw uh, the best professional's estimate between 100 and 200,000 people a year who are going to have to go shopping and do all kinds of things if they've got the opportunity. The second is that the railway at the other end is going to open up to a, to, to a steam railway, which itself will also draw people and keep them moving up and down the main street. So you've got need and you've got opportunity. So good for Bishop Auckland all around then? Yes, I think this is something where, which could turn into, it's a manageable size, it could turn into a case study about what you can do. We have a wonderful platform that we can build on and what we have to be mindful of is that we don't keep addressing the past. We have to look to the future and how we can make this a vibrant town again and encourage people to want to come to the town to visit, to have a bite to eat, to spend their well-earned money. As a local trader, it would be important to receive this funding so that we've got more investment into the heart of Bishop Auckland. Over recent years we've seen uh, a gradual reduction of the, um, of the sales within the town and the footfall within the town and that can be exemplified by the market itself which is held in this square on a Saturday and a Thursday each week. And one only has to look at photographs from the 1960s and 70s to see how many market stalls used to come on those two days whereas now we have a vastly reduced market and I think this uh, exemplifies uh, what is actually going on in the town and so if we are bringing in a lot more uh, visitors to the proposals at the council then hopefully we would have something for them to visit and something to see and so we realize that we need to do something more than we're doing at the moment and that is the determination whether the Porter's project is successful for us or not.